guys welcome back to my channel my name is shalom if you are new i do videos on music releases artists i review music pop culture stuff and sometimes deeper topics when i feel like it if you guys are returning hi guys how are you guys doing and just to get this out of the way i post every tuesday and saturday so make sure you subscribe press that bell icon so you're notified every single time i post like this video and comment and i just want to see what you guys think as you've seen from the title this is another unpopular opinions video i do these not that often but when i do i come for everybody no one is safe no one is exempt from getting talked about and guys if these are triggering just click off like the fact that i have to say that is quite wild like i'm not forcing you to watch this video you are watching this for yourself so if you get triggered that ain't really my problem but i'm gonna get into it my first unpopular opinion is jay-z is next to get exposed you know how people like p diddy td jakes have been getting exposed this year in 2024 like if you've watched the cat williams interview with shay I've watched that like a thousand times. I, I keep saying you've got an unnatural allegiance to losers. I keep saying that like every day. But Jay-Z is next. He thinks he is untouchable. He thinks that he is ex exempt. Him and Beyonce, they think they are untouchable. They are immune from getting exposed. But I feel like they are next in line. Same thing with P. Diddy and T.D. Jakes. They thought they were getting away with it all these years. They thought for the past 20 or so years they were getting away with it. And now look at them now. Their whole empire is crumbling and falling. And I feel like Jay-Z and Beyonce are next to get exposed for whatever comes out. And when it does... I will not be surprised because you cannot become a billionaire without exploiting others and you cannot be a billionaire ethically it is impossible without exploiting others whether it's underpaying people having child factories run it is impossible to be a billionaire without exploiting others and stepping on other necks to get to the top maybe you can be a billion a millionaire with being ethical but we are talking about billions of dollars here and it is impossible to be ethical okay next caller i feel like jonathan majors was set up i don't know what he did in hollywood or i don't know if it's because he was getting too successful and hollywood is like that they can't have too many black people at the top they can only have a selective few i don't know what he did but i just don't get how the girlfriend there are multiple like cctv videos where it's jonathan getting out of a car and they are like fighting over something right and allegedly what the girlfriend is saying that he basically abused her right physically and whatever but i'm just thinking right they both get out of the car they're fighting over this item a phone or bag or whatever jonathan may just start running in like just some rant he's like sprinting in a random direction and then the girlfriend runs after Jonathan. What what person runs after their abuser? Like if you're being physically abused, domestic violence, who runs after their abuser? And then there's a video that they used in court to basically say, oh, this is after he basically like hit her and stuff like that. And it's a video of her getting up. She's like on the floor, things in the house are all over the floor and stuff like that. It's her talking and police are basically like getting her up from the floor. She looks like a mess, a hot potato mess, but you can't hear any audio. So that's automatically suspicious to me because they could have been talking about anything. They could have been talking about chocolate ice cream and what her flavor, um, ice cream flavor is. And there's no audio, there's no nothing. It's just seeing her get up, looking a bit weird and iffy. So to that, me, that's automatically red flag. I always thought it was weird. I don't know what he did or what was going on, or what he has said or done, but he is being set up. And this just shows why black guys, you need to be careful dating these white women, because at the end of the day, when you break up with that white woman, anything she says, people will take it at first hand, first value. Your opinion, your stuff, it does not matter. If you break up and that woman says you were beating her, you were physically, mentally abusive, who are they going to believe? The white woman, because it's always been like that in society. Society has been that way since Jim Crow days. If a man was walking past a white woman in Jim Crow days and the woman said the man looked at her in an inappropriate way, that guy was going to either end up on a tree or be beaten to an inch of his life. So you got to be careful dating these white women because their word is always going to be taken over yours and the media is always going to make the black man look bad because that's just how it is. So Jonathan Majors, sorry buddy, but yeah my next unpopular opinion is when people switch genders and like all this like sort of transgender um like movement i generally believe it is a mental illness like it's not normal and we live in a society where it's become normalized and some people give the argument like oh these kids need to be transitioned because like it prevents suicide like there's no actual evidence in that and what about the children and the kids hundreds and thousands of years ago who were living and going through puberty and going through life without any of this and a lot of 
a lot of people who are switching and re-transitioning, they are given false information and they're told, yeah, if you do this, do this and do this and like, you'll be fine, you'll be great. Do you not, do you not understand that like, these are children and like they can't make these decisions themselves. So you can't, can't have a driver's license or start driving until in the UK, I believe it's until you're like eight, 17, 18, around there. You can't start drinking in the UK until legally until you're 18. I know in America it's different, I believe it's until you're 21, but in the UK it's 18. You can't join the military until you're like 18. Like all these things you can't do until you're 18, but you can literally mutilate children's bodies and brainwash them to be a different gender. Like, are you okay? And it's like, where are the, where are your parents? Why, why are the parents not like, you know what I mean? It's just, it's crazy. It's a genuine mental illness. And I would encourage you guys to watch the Candace Owens interview with Brianna, I believe. So nice to see someone from that community, like just talk to Candace in a civil, respectful way. I just feel like a lot of people who come from that sort of um, group are very hostile and very rude, especially when it comes to people like Candace Owens, who just speak the truth. But it was just such a cordial, nice conversation. He said like he was basically lied to as a child. And he was given information and basically the procedure where he was going to get his pee pee into a vagina um, basically went wrong and there was a lot of complications and like he was basically lied to with facts and information through social media and through people being like yeah like you need this you know to fix your trauma you need this to feel good when in reality you don't you need I believe you genuinely need actual therapy and good good people and support system and therapists who are going to help you. Oh, this one might tickle your butt a little bit. But when atheists or like people who just like don't believe in God and aren't Christians, when they say like when someone dies and they're like, they're in a better place now, like they're really looking down on us. It's like, they're not, they're really not. And it's, it, and it's always like the people who go like their whole lives, like speaking against Jesus, speaking against God, like, like mocking God, not even all of them, but I'm just saying. And then their family members will be like, they're in a better place now. I hate to break it to you and burst your bubble, but they're not. I'm really sorry. Like, you're the one who chose your entire life to reject Christ and to go out your way to speak against him. And then now you're like, they're in a better place now. Like, <laughs> anyways, child. Um, my next unpopular opinion is Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. I know it's so tiring speaking about it, but that really exposed Hollywood's racism. Because it's like, okay, I do not condone Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. He should have kept his hands to himself. But yeah, and especially at an event like that, where it's like upper high class people, like we do not need that. Because like, we already know like that type of people's perception of black people isn't great. And then you going up to slap him, just no. But why did he get banned? Like for the whole, like he's never allowed to go to like he's never allowed to go again to the Oscars or whatever event it was like he's banned do you know the people who are banned people who are like bottom barrel filth people like Harvey Weinstein um or oh, the Polanski guy like people like that who are banned for life but someone who slaps someone is banned for, like does that make sense like they didn't ban him for a year or two years they banned him for life putting him into the same category as people like Harvey Weinstein excuse me and then you had these white celebrities and artists being like Oh my gosh, I thought Will Smith was gonna kill Chris Rock. Like, oh my gosh. Please get over yourself. Like, yeah, he shouldn't have done it, but like the way that the white media was like, oh my gosh, like he, he was literally gonna kill Chris Rock. Because mind you, let's just go back. Pre slap, Will Smith was like the, like, he was just such a nice guy. Like, the, he spent his entire career, like, he ruined his entire career with one slap, guys. Like, he went his entire career, he built his whole brand up for being such a nice guy, helping others, helping younger talent to come in the industry. Um, he was just a genuinely nice guy. He never cursed, he never spoke down on people, he never cursed in his music to now slapping someone and people are like, oh my gosh. I give Megan Thee Stallion probably two to three more years because the only reason people are supporting her is because the whole Nicki Minaj thing. And it's quite funny how Megan Thee Stallion, your fan base, the hotties, where were you for the past two to three years where she was barely charting, scraping and scratching for her life to chart on the Billboard Hot 100. But then now you're here now and you're like, oh, we love Megan, we always support you. Where were you for the past two to three years when she was releasing that album and releasing all these songs and dissing tour? Where were you? Because you were nowhere to be found, but all of a sudden you've come out the woods and you're like, <laughs> every time someone speaks up about the music industry or Hollywood being demonic or being satanic, 
people call them crazy. Like they will, like the industry will make that person look like a Looney Tune. Like they will make them look as crazy as possible. Like uh, Kanye West, Azalea Banks, Miss Tony, um, Black China's mom. And I understand, like. Not everything they say I exactly agree with, but some of the stuff that they say, it has me like being like, okay, like it makes sense. I don't agree with everything Kanye West says or Zadie Banks says or Miss Tony says, but some of the stuff they say, it lines up with what other people have been saying about the industry for decades and decades and decades. It's sort of like in the society, like the devil could literally show up on national TV and everyone would still deny it. And they'll still deny the devil and be like, no, it's not real. No, no, no. Like, okay, my next one, I, I'm just, guys, I'm just getting started, okay? I'm just getting warmed up. I'm just saying what we've all been thinking and we've just been too scared to say. So that's why I'm here to speak up and to speak out for you guys. Don't worry. Society doesn't care about black people because guys, it, wait, 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 wait. Before you guys are like, oh, what about the black lives matter? I mean, don't, don't worry guys, okay. Society doesn't care about black people because remember when Kanye was saying that like slavery was a choice and he was saying like Harriet Tubman didn't free slaves and he was talking about black women I remember and all of that everyone was mute no one was saying anything there was no celebrities really speaking up and out people just let him run his mouth no one was saying anything no one was outraged right but as soon as he speaks about jewish people the world goes nuts and i'm not saying what he said was right what kanye said about jewish people was dead wrong he should have never said that and that shouldn't be condoned ever but i just find it funny as soon as he talks about jewish people the entire world goes nuts celebs go crazy being like how could he say that how could he do that where was this energy when he was speaking about black people and slavery and um all of it like you guys were mute so to me that just shows me where black people rank in society and how they rank so low and how you know it just shows that you guys just don't care you don't give a crap about black people and it shows okay beyonce is using chloe and hallie like those two girls need to go outside and touch some grass because they literally think that beyonce is their buddy and like beyonce loves them and would do anything she doesn't care about you she is literally just making money off of them without doing anything for them you know what I mean? Look at Chloe. Where has she been for the past two years? Where is she? Where is she? Please sculpt her out. Where is she? We like we don't know. You know what I mean? She's literally just using you, making money off of you, but then keeping you at that low level so that she can continue to make money off of you. But like you're still like at the same level, if that makes any sense. Because I feel like Beyonce is very strategic. I feel like I don't really like Beyonce like that, but one thing I do admire is she is very strategic with what she does. Like she plays chess and I think she knows if she was to let Chloe Bailey thrive and to be, you know, just let her go and spread her wings, that she would generally be a threat to Beyonce. Because I feel like the only people who are a threat to Beyonce in the industry are Chloe and Halle, and I would say Adele. Because I, I feel like a lot of people forget that Adele can sing. And I feel like if they were on a song together, Beyonce and Adele, it, it like, I feel like Adele could be that one person who could outsing Beyonce. And you can call me nuts, but we have been waiting for that collaboration between Beyonce and Adele for how many years now? Chloe Bailey needs a rebrand. Like, do I need to go on any further? Do I need to go on? I need to actually do another video about her because, oof, child, it, it is not looking good. It is not looking good. She needs a rebrand. Like, I honestly, if I could, I would just like, oh, there's so much I would do with Chloe. There's so much. Like, she needs to let go of this over sexualized image because it is just not working for her. But I am planning to do a video on her, so I don't want to go too deep into it. Okay, and this one might be a bit unpopular, but Normani needs a fake relationship for her personality to, co to come out. Because as you know, Normani is very introverted. She does not talk. She is very mute. Even in interviews, she's a bit bland. I'm not going to lie. And I feel like she needs to have like, her record label should make her have a fake relationship. Like, you know, Beyonce did with Chloe Bailey and Gunna. But make it a little bit more believable. And I feel like if they were to pair her up with someone who's more introverted, maybe I'd say to get the people talking, probably someone white specifically, because I don't know what it is, but the media love black women, especially dark skinned black women with white men. They love that, they eat that stuff up. So if I was on her team, I'd be like, we need a white person who is gonna basically like, basically just show out your personality, help her, you know what I mean? And Normani, she needs all the help that she can get because where is that album, baby? Pop.
I am, I'm speaking facts, okay. The only reason why people like Zendaya and Yara Shahadi, Shahidi and Storm, um, I forgot her surname, but the person from Euphoria who plays Rue's little sister, her, are casted is because mixed or light skinned people, specifically mixed people, make white people feel less uncomfortable because they're like black, but it's not like, too black to the point where they'll feel uncomfortable and they won't feel as disconnected to the character you know what i mean like you know what i mean you know what i mean yeah yeah yeah. i have nothing against zendaya but i have a feeling if a black person was like a, a dark-skinned woman was playing that role i don't think it would have gotten as much praise or as much recognition and as much like admiration and stuff like that but I'm just saying, you know, that's why Zendaya is always casting these movies because she makes the higher ups and white people in general feel less uncomfortable because when you have all black cast, all dark skinned people, it makes white people kind of feel uncomfortable. They just don't really know what to do, what to do with themselves. White media, I don't really know why the white media was so obsessed with Cardi B in like 2017, 18 and 19. Like, why were you laughing so hard? Like, I look back on that time and like some of the stuff she was saying was like not funny. And like you'd hear the crowd like literally like bursting out of laughter like literally it sounds like they're gonna pee themselves like she's not that funny it's not cute that leads into my next unpopular opinion is it's only cute and funny to be illiterate and ghetto when you're not when you're not black because people eating out of Cardi B you know she's she Cardi B is an illiterate person when you hear Cardi B talk or even see anything she types it is so draining to read it out in your mind can you imagine Flo Millie or Nicki Minaj or any of these other black rappers speaking like Cardi B does like you guys would be calling them ghetto you'd be calling them ratchet where are your parents da -da 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 -da, like go to school read a book but when it's Cardi B and literally that cash me outside girl who literally made an entire career out of being like ratchet and ghetto and then later on she goes on to say who wants to be black even though having a kid with a person who's black that's like one of the dumbest things ever i feel like if people didn't have sex before marriage dating would just be so much more easier you wouldn't have to have that conversation about oh like how many um uh, bodies do you have how many this how many that like it would just make dating and just things just 10 times more easier people have like a two parent like two parents have like a decent job a car and like a family and stuff like that and they don't really like pay for much and stuff like that like they're just there and they're like living a great life had a great childhood you know everything is provided for them and then they just complain about stuff like that like what are you complaining about like bro you literally have a two parent household you have like a decent paying part time job like you're just there living like you're not even contributing to anything like what like what are you complaining about you can control your feelings like who you date who you like stuff like that like you can like you you literally can like i don't understand why people are like oh but like you can't help how you feel you can you you literally can help help how you feel and oftentimes people who they date like for example if they're like a white woman dating a white guy or vice versa a black woman dating a, a white girl and they're like oh we just love each other like we can't help how we feel like a lot of the time it's not really like your feelings it's, just, it's like how you grew up and sort of how like social like social media and like the media has painted certain groups of people as to why you're probably dating a different race it's like with the tv shows and movies that like you're you're literally surrounded by eurocentric like eurocentric media and that's like they the media paints like um eurocentric features to be like more desirable more pretty and that's why you get a lot of these like black darker skinned men getting online and being like oh if it ain't snowing i'm not going like those type of things because they just that's how they've grown up society just hates introverted people i don't know what it is about people just hating people who don't talk like it is just it's so weird i don't need to be surrounded by people 24 7 to feel content with myself i can spend time by myself i've literally had people in the past being like i thought like when they have a conversation with me and we just start like kikiing and stuff like that and they're like i literally thought you were going to be like the meanest person and stuff like that my second to last popular opinion is about beyonce and how a lot of people are like i love how beyonce leads by example you know she always stays mute on situations like she doesn't speak when she needs to like Nicki minaj needs to do the same thing is beyonce in my opinion i feel like beyonce she is kind of like 
not selling herself out but she's like kind of is and is a pushover because the only reason she doesn't speak up about the grammys or she doesn't speak up about stuff like Nicki Minaj does which i appreciate anyways is because she's literally married to jay-z and because jay-z literally like runs the music industry and has so many connections so it wouldn't make sense if Beyonce came up and spoke about how the Grammys are rigged whilst her husband is like part of the committees and is buddy buddy with all these like middle-aged white people it wouldn't make any sense and then with the rumors for years which have been going around that she does witchcraft and that she sold her soul and stuff like that and people are like oh she doesn't owe you anything she doesn't need to explain herself she's Beyonce she can do what she likes but to me that tells me that you're guilty you you are guilty baby because I'm sorry if there were rumors about me practicing witchcraft being in the occult worshipping the devil i am coming out and saying I, I i'm not a part of that that is not me that's not my brand i am never going to be a part of that i like jesus is lord christ is lord i'm not a part of that like mm -mm, mm -mm. but she doesn't she stays silent she stays mute so to me that tells me that she does Stop expecting celebrities to speak up about politics and wars around the world. A lot of these celebrities and stuff that you want to speak up so bad are either illiterate, like Cardi B, don't know anything about these wars and don't know anything about these politics and just speaking about it because they have, because of their following, but they're not educated about it. So then the moment they will speak up about these topics and then they slip up and say something wrong, you guys are going to be the same people who are like, oh, they're so uneducated, like, educate yourselves. Like, oh. Instead of going to all these rappers and pop stars to be like, please speak about this this please speak about this how about you actually go to politicians because that's their job go to all these politicians and all these other people in the world okay guys that is it from me hopefully you like this video hopefully i challenged you some way in your mind mentally to think because if in my comment sections if you just call me names that disagree with an opinion and then call me a name or like swear at me automatically that just tells me that you're slow and you can't think so you automatically respond with name calling it just tells me how your mind works and how slow you are because an actual intelligent person would say you know what i don't agree with shlom's opinion and um, because of da -da 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 -da, instead of name calling me and swearing at me so if i get any of that i'm just not going to reply to you respectfully <laughs> i don't i don't have time for slow people all right i'd i don't want to have an unnatural allegiance to losers so if you like this video press the like button comment share this video subscribe press the bell icon and that is shalom for culture out